Hi, I'm Sunny Leone, and you're watching me on Bollywood Times. The great William Shakespeare once said, what's in a name? Well, a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. And here I have Karanjit Kaur, a.k.a. Sunny Leone on Bollywood Times. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. I called you a rose. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's good one. And I you're looking mental. pretty. Thank you very much. And the lilies haven't blossomed, but I'm sure by the end of the interview they will. Oh, so sweet. Congratulations on season finale. Thank you. Of Karanjit Kaur. Let me, let me, let's rewind uh, a bit, okay, over here. Uh, what would you have done better as a person if you now trace your journey back? I don't know. I think that when you put your entire life journey on paper, of course you would you think, oh, I wish I could have done this different or I wish I would have done this different. But I think that everything leads you to who you are as an adult or um, leads you to different decisions that you make in your life. And I think they're all important in the journey of life. If I had done everything correct or if I had done everything that I was supposed to do, then I don't think I would be sitting here. All my life choices, decisions, business choices, personal choices, all are because of something either I did wrong <laughs> or something I did right or a mistake that I made or, you know, there's so many reasons why something happens and how that shapes you as a person and your personality and helps you make decisions as adults. So I don't, I don't think I would change anything. Good. Otherwise, I would have changed it in the uh, biopic series. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The last time I met you, Sunny, uh, I got introduced to Nisha. Oh, she was yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, we met at Marriott. And uh, yeah, the, the, there was a spark in your mm -hmm. eyes, in, in, in her eyes. And now the additions are uh, Noah and Asha. <laughs> right. So the question is, if you wouldn't have changed back anything then, are you a changed person after these three beautiful uh, angels have come in? Yes, of course. I've ex Everything has changed. Everything's changed for the better, I believe. And uh, this is one of the most amazing times of my life. And it's crazy and it's hectic. And I was just in Delhi yesterday. I landed. I saw my kids for maybe an hour <laughs> before they all have to go in for a nap and or I had to leave. And it doesn't feel that good right now, uh, but I think I'm going to see him later. I'm going to go downstairs. We'll all have like some dessert together. My nice. boys will not have processed sugar, but my, <laughs> but Nisha will because she's a little bit older. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we'll get some quality time there. So it's it's difficult at times, but it this is the best time of my life. And yes, I'm completely changed. I know how to time manage a lot better. I'm a lot more organized. Nice. Um, Everything is run by the minute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but making memories is a good thing. Yeah. And you know what? We will make some memory on the show. I've got some surprise, as I'm, usual. Yeah. I don't know if I'm excited about surprises. Oh, that's where you're putting the surprises behind there. Okay, now. Aw. Okay, you know what? Actually, these... all of all of the presents and things that you've given me, I still have and I've kept. Thank they're, you. They're either in my office or they're in my house somewhere, or they're in my daughter's room, or it's just, it's amazing. Okay, now the daughter's room, the kid's room, this is, well, I've got oh all these God. three for that's Nisha, so, that's Noah, amazing. and Asha. That's amazing. All right, so tell them uncle. Oh my gosh, this is amazing because they're teeny tiny books. I love it. <laughs> I wish I could open it now, but you guys would get bored of me doing that. Aw, that's so sweet. And this is amazing. Nisha loves books. My my boys and Nisha, they love books. We spend Great. so much time reading and looking at books and nice. making sure that they're always looking at them, turning the pages. The boys are not reading, obviously. <laughs> but they do have their, it's amazing, they have their favorite books. And if Noah comes to steal Asher's favorite book, it's a complete meltdown. Or if Asher steals Noah's favorite book, it's a meltdown. Ah, oh, but this is so sweet. You're welcome. Where should I put this? Oh, uh, you wanna, yeah, just let's keep it on the table. Okay. We'll keep it here. Better? Okay. Let's begin. Another contribution in your life has always been, uh, and, and I've met the man, the, the handsome bloke as we call him, uh, his name is Daniel Weber. Mm -hmm. uh, his contribution is 
is i mean you can't put it in words uh, you had once told me but tell me if you are playing karanjit kaur that you are yourself in the film was it less uh, i mean did z5 have the budget to get daniel in it <laughs> i don't think it was about the budget for daniel <laughs> i think it was he's just he'd rather be behind the camera most of the time than in front of it i think that sometimes it intrigues him um for sure i think if something came along and he was interested in it i think he would take it up i don't know if he would take up an entire 30 60 day project i think he might go a little bananas cuz he'll say what do you mean bro i can't leave right now to go i got to go handle some business i got to go make money i got to go do this or i have to go go into meetings i have to take the excuse me we're right in the middle of a scene but i have to take this phone call <laughs> i could just picture it going on in my head but then maybe i'm wrong you know and you can ask him that question I one will. day um from what i know of him i see that happening i think he's definitely interested in it um but they chose a really nice young man his name's Mark Bruckner and um he did a good job yeah he's nice he did he, he, did. Did, he had to paint his arms <laughs> his entire yeah, whole arms, tattoo and all right his yeah. back this front area i mean it was incredible he would sit there they didn't in where we were in south africa is not like the the main tattoo artist here um who does most of the celebrities mm-hmm. indian celebrities and uh she took so long to do court i felt so bad and then once he came here and we shot a couple of scenes he's like i finished in 1 hour i didn't sit there for 6 hours <laughs> i'm like yeah that's because indian artists are so yeah. much better <laughs> um yeah so he's he's a nice guy though he is okay uh, an actor's job is to entertain uh, again thought provoking even better uh, the more films you do i'm sure the more mature uh, the artist gets but in the course of your uh, karanjit kaur was there a disturbing moment uh, there while was you a were disturbing shooting? moment every single day <laughs> um it was <laughs> so hard to shoot this especially second season literally killed me uh, inside um i think i died every single day walking onto that set shooting some of those scenes going through everything everything that i saw on paper i'm like okay this can't be that hard I mean it makes me sad when I'm reading it but not to the point where it's um emotionally disturbing me where I take it home every night and it's I'm hurt and I'm sad and I had to go through it's like your parents dying all over again that feeling and then once it was done shooting it took me a long time to snap out of that too I was sad for a while What's the first Wasn't fun <laughs> What's the first bit of uh, a good review or criticism you got from Daniel after he saw Daniel's an extremely positive person and he has been 100% go both seasons <laughs> let's do, you know very positive very encouraging because i was so emotionally disturbed for so long i mean god bless the man he had to walk on eggshells for a little while because i wanted to hear nothing of it i had to detach myself from the subject completely that meant my phone was off Um if I disappeared on social media that was why for a little while um I wasn't reading reviews I wasn't looking on social media I wasn't engaging in any way reading anything that had to do with entertainment um because it was just it was there it was in my face so I had to completely detach so he didn't tell me how good it, how much he liked it um you know until later on and then he's like well it's out should we watch the first episode i said no i don't want to watch the first episode he's like why not i go i can't i can't i don't want to watch it and he's like you know doing one of you know this husband things and then i feel guilty <laughs> so then i'm like fine you want to watch it let's watch it here we go let's go down memory lane together <laughs> <laughs> and halfway through i start crying because this, they're showing something emotional and this happened when i watched the trailer as well um and we were going to dinner it was like our date night you know the first time in a while we were going out on a date and we're out we're going to you know this hakasa down the street <laughs> and you know he's excited we see it and i start my eyes start welling up in tears because there's a lot of dialogue that my mother had said my father had said things that had happened those things are real and they're very 
emotional things for me. So to hear it out loud over and over again mm -hmm. is yeah, not yeah, yeah. is not fun, especially dialogue that my parents said because they're not here and you know, I can't consult them, I can't go talk to them, I can't tell them how I feel. Um, so then he's like, wait a second, we, let's turn it off. And I'm like, no, 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 you wanna watch this? Let's watch it. You know, typical husband-wife <laughs> banter. I'm like, no, no, I'll go watch getting it. You wanted to watch this? Let's do this together. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm a very stubborn Punjabi girl. I have an American accent, but I'm very Desi. You are. <laughs> and uh, I just written uh, early morning on Twitter that I'm interviewing Sunny Leone, the, the most uh, soft-spoken, genuine actor that I've met. So, how do you, when you're such so poised and uh, there's this, you're surrounded by positivity, optimism, how do you handle uh, trolls? How do you handle people who have that, you know, uh, a, a, very, a negative approach? How do you, how do you manage that? Um, well, most of the time I don't read it. Well, that's good. Um, and I think that the only time that it really affects me is if, say, you, I know you, we've interviewed together so many different times. I've seen you outside of the interview. Right. Um, we've had many conversations and then all of a sudden you hit into these personal, uh, okay. you know, digs. digs. And as a journalist, you're do maybe you're doing your job or you're saying how you feel or your opinion. Saying that I did horrible in a film and I can't act and I was this and I was that, that's fine. But there's certain, there's like a little fine line, I think, between um, a journalist and an entertainer, especially if it's someone that you see over and over. And I feel like if those lines are ca crossed, then yes, that would be hurtful and I would be offended and I would not be happy about it. Um, and then there's people out there that are trolling and they're looking at my social media and they're making comments. That doesn't really affect me. I, I have come up with the perfect like play by play of my troll, which is, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Masterclass. Oh, yes, it's yeah, like, yeah. I'll, I'll just tell you, I'll be really quick because I can go in detail and it gets boring. Um, the troll comes on my social media. First of all, they're probably following me because you have to see the updates to be able to troll somebody. Um, goes on, starts writing what they want to. They're making sure that, yeah, this is it. This is going to affect her. This is horrible. I could write the meanest thing ever. Right now they reread it, they spell check it, they make sure they change a couple of words here and there, and then they press send. And then what do they do? They don't <laughs> leave my page. They stay there. This is the most amazing part, <laughs> is they stay there. And then what are they yeah. doing? They're going like this, ting, ting. And they're watching the little wheel turn <laughs> to update, yeah, make yeah, sure yeah. the updates are there. And then they're reading what all the followers are saying or what other people are saying, whether those people are with him, not with him. So he just stays on my page forever. He keeps updating. He keeps updating the page to see. And, you know, those are the people that stay on my social media pages <laughs> and watch more digital content than maybe say an uber fan or a fan of mine. <laughs> you know, fan goes on there, they're like, oh, how nice, what a nice yeah, photo. Yeah. And you know, they move on to the next celebrity. But the troll, he stays. He's the best fan ever, because he just keeps, I, he keeps adding fuel to the fire. And after a few months, you will be celebrating your 10 million plus, 20 million plus. So yeah, keep yeah. at it, it's good. <laughs> keep at it, it's good. Okay, I want to ask you, this is fascination for music that Daniel has, yeah. okay? Uh, how much of music has inspired Karanjit Kaur? Well, the, the he does have original music is in um, this both seasons. That is his song. Yeah. And um, I love that Sweet Surrender song because it reminds me of um, my mother and my father and how much my father loved my mother. So when I first heard it, I'm an extremely emotional person because I keep talking about crying, but it, I got very emotional when I heard it the very first time. And even now when he sings it and I watch him sing it on stage, it's such a beautiful song. So his music definitely played a, a big part of, you know, the graph of Daniel Daniel's character. Um, because that's how we meet and the song is beautiful. And I think that if they would have asked for more songs, he would have been happy to give it. But that's the one song that um, was a consensus amongst the production and, and everyone that that's a song that they wanted to use. Nice. Okay, now the season finale, as we call it, is the big boss, right? That's where it ends. 
in the I house? Land, n- not in the house, but it, it ends saying yes to the show oh, and nice. landing here in India. You did say yes to the show. Yes. But if you want to just give out a bit of a glimpse as to, uh, were you even ready? Was this just like a, a fluke thing where you just came down, attended this gig in the Big Boss and then, or was it a really planned move? Well, I think the saying yes part is not a fluke, but just, all right, Go for it. Screw it. Let's go for it. Let's do it. It's taking a chance, it's taking that step forward, especially after doing so much research on the channel and the show and, you know, all the different information pieces that I had read about before I landed. They were also taking a huge, um, huge yeah, chance yeah. bringing me here and bringing me on the show. And I think in their minds, maybe they thought I would be somebody else. Um, <laughs> but. I, en- I ended up being something maybe the opposite of what they thought, which is good. It worked for me. I was just being myself. And uh, yeah, it's definitely, <laughs> it was definitely a Energy. crazy journey. Very, very crazy journey. I had no idea what I was getting into. Okay, after your first stint in Big Boss, how many times were you called back and you said no? I wasn't called back to be a part of the show. I was called back to be on the show as a guest um, many times. Uh, I think last year might have been the first time I didn't, or did I go last year? But they've asked me to come back and um, come say hello to all the the, the contestants inmates, yeah. and yeah, the yeah. inmates because we is jail. Um, <laughs> um, and they they call me back, and I would go back every single year. If they called me, I'd say yes. I wouldn't even say no. And there's like this weird feeling every time you go drive up there, then you go down that same lane, you pass the same McDonald's, yeah. you pass the same stores. Um, and then the pathway driving in and yeah. saying that it's like the weirdest feeling to say bye to everybody on the outside and then the door shuts. So yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. It is. Okay, we're going to play a game now. Oh gosh. Yes, we are. I'm so bad at this. Well, this is called Dumb Sharads. Okay. And uh, I'm going to take a chit from there and I'm going to see it. Mm-hmm. And it's the name of a film, okay. and I'm going to act, and you're going to guess the film. We won't be talking, but we'll be using sure. sign language. I'll be talking, you'll be using. Yes, I'll be doing the weird moves. Yeah, okay. Because you I'm go not first. an actor. I'll Wait, be hold doing on. Weird, yeah. weird no, no, no. moves too. <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah. Okay, make it easy. Okay, I'm just okay. Ooh, oh, this is this is good. It's a good movie. I'm sure you've seen it. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's two words. Yes. Okay. And it's, uh, I, I mean, this is just, I don't know what's the logic behind it, but it's... It's a good film? <laughs> yeah. yeah, and it's English. It made, oh, it's English. Mm-hmm. It's English. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Second word. Girl. Woman. Pretty woman. Well done. Have you seen the film? Yes. Awesome, isn't it? It's amazing. Brilliant. It's an American classic. Okay, do you want to take one shoot? I hope mine is in English too, because it might be easy. Okay. Mm-hmm. Two words. Second word. Second word. Do. Mm-hmm. And oh. Do. No. Okay. First. First word. First word. Jism. Yeah. Jism too. Yeah. <laughs> well. This is so. <laughs> this is amazing. I like this game. Okay. I might not like it in the second round, Jism but too. at least I, I got it. two. I, got I at least were one and one. Oh, lovely. Oh no. Okay, how do I act this? Okay, interesting. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. One word. It didn't do. It's oh, it's a good it's film, Hindi. but it's, it's Hindi. in Hindi. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why this is there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, ladies and gentlemen, please don't laugh because I'm just about to, you know, impersonate some. Uh, <laughs> did you hear that? Who did? Who told who, you to speak? Who said that? Okay, let's go. Okay. Okay, but you. Okay, just guess it. What? He has so many. Yeah. Is it a person or is it the film? It's a uh, film. It's a film, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, I totally went blank. I have a song in it, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You forgot the name of the film? Oh my gosh. Mr. Shah Rukh Khan. No, no. Are you stu- watching this no, episode? No, he doesn't watch this stuff. Why can't I Okay, remember? I'll give you a clue. It starts with R. I just totally went blank. This is not R. good. That's what Shahrukh does. He just is such a, 
He mesmerizes you and you forget names. I know. All I can see is this beautiful face. Yeah. Him doing this. And the rays that he is. Oh, the ray, rays. 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 Oh, rays. Oh, oh, shit. I, I, oh, I my gosh. Oh, I'm so sorry. Thanks. Wow. Okay. But... I'm so, I told you I'm so bad. This is horrible. I live in a bubble. Okay. Seriously. How the... No. Okay. No, don't say it. How can you see from there though? He can't see. There's no way he'd ever guess this because I haven't even seen this or don't even know how to act it out. Okay. Okay, English, three, four, five, five words. Five words? English film? Mm -hmm. I know what you did last summer. No. Okay, first word. No. Oh, fifth word, fifth uh -huh. word. Uh huh. Fifth word. Is a. Star. Yeah. A star is one. No, sorry. A star. Star. Uh huh. Fifth word is star. Yeah. <laughs> and I have to guess the last four, the first four words. There's only two relevant words in this. Star. Who prepared okay. this? Okay. Um. Second word. I wish I could say it in English. Um. It's an English or Hindi? It's an English film, right? Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Star. Star. Is it a film that ends in star? Can I say one word? Okay. Alphabet? Alphabet, yeah. Okay. <laughs> e. F. Starts with F. So I have to go down memory lane. Now, saying, okay. Um, uh oh. <laughs> you uh, cracked it. Crack. Throw. Okay, I give up. Who's the actor? Just tell me. I don't know. I've not seen okay, this the movie. The, the Fault in Our Stars. Oh my God. How do I? I gave you the first letter. Oh my F, God. And I made a, a I don't know, mistake, yeah, yeah, yeah. fault. Okay, this um, is bad. No, it's very bad. I'm, 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 I'm very embarrassed. I'm very embarrassed. I, I can't call word. myself a cinephile. Oh, lovely. This is amazing. This is for you. Okay. Okay, two words in English. Mm -hmm. First word. Soldier, flag, flag, soldier, America, America. Okay. Second word, baby? Oh no. World, cake, eating, food, American, American pie! Yes! Yeah! Killed it. Oh, I'm <laughs> so good. You're winning the game. Yes. Last. Teri <laughs> Maki Chappal. Teri Maki Chappal is the name of the film. Okay, sorry, yes. First one. Word. Oh, sorry, one word only. Mm -hmm. One word only? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Dance. Sunny Leone's film. Which is film? Okay, let me go back. It's a new film. Good luck. One word film? Mm -hmm. Of Sunny Leone. Okay, which actor? The actor just gave birth to the baby. Ah. Oh, Shahrukh Khan. No, no, but you just raised was there. Yeah. Shahrukh? Okay, no. You had another no, no. baby? <laughs> Abram, no. Okay, no. Sorry. Um, I give up. I lose this. I lose this. Jason 2, I said. But there's so many that you've done. No, it's so, it's so, they're so bad you don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> now I don't remember your film. Let me think of the other one. Okay, someone just... Let me, help me. I assume you're someone's brother in their last Who's a television queen? Who's a head honcho lady? She's a woman. T series ki? One of the biggest... Producers. Give up. Female. Give up. She's no nonsense. No, give up. Masti zade. This one's musty. You should have just. What? Do you remember I gave you bananas to eat on the show? Oh. Veer, you and Mila. How am I supposed to like reenact you should have a just banana? Done a banana, and I would have remembered that. Wow, I gifted. Uh, not gifted, but banana. But that's what everybody. <laughs> okay, here. Let me pull out my banana. I got it. Okay. <laughs> well, you know what? Before we end this, one last question. Uh, 
there is this thing the most googled celebrity from india uh, there's evidence this fact that india is uh, probably uh, the number one country that watches adult entertainment okay is it a wrong way to uh, ask you this but you know we ask as journalists please uh, give out a message to someone who wants to enter the adult film, the, the adult industry is that a right question to ask <laughs> you just first of all it depends on what country you're in and make sure you are careful and safe and make sure it's legal in that country it's not legal here it's not legal in at india. all yeah don't think about it um you can't indians just can't if you live in india you're born here you, you just can't so you know what just imagine it in your head when you go to sleep i guess i don't know i think what she's trying to say is just keep watching karanjit kaur again and again <laughs> Uh, season finale comes but when am i looking where am i looking where am i looking the season finale of karanjit kaur hits z5 on april the 5th and yeah please watch it and tweet at the rate sunny leoni yes just my name <laughs> thank you for gracing bollywood times again thank you you beautiful rose thank and you and may you blossom 